I have finally spread it all out. Thank you for sending this to me. I am so grateful. And waiting these two days before I could dig in took some self-restraint. So thank you for sending this to me. Um, I will now do a close-up on every single one of them because I'm so excited. Um, first off, I will start off with what my friends from Toronto sent. And I'll just use their nickname slash web names for those people. Um, so these, the Lotte Waffle Wafers. Oh, those are good. I've tried them. Um, these, I think Fishy said these were also kind of like w wafers. And that, she said they're really good and they're kind of like wafers. But I will have to dig in to see. I want to. I want to do that now. We'll do that after. Um, well, it says French cookie. The Japanese says French cookie. The Chinese says French something that I can't read. So it's Vienna coffee and strawberry flavor. Which I will probably open once I... S in this video and then there we have holly crate it was coffee flavored yes it was coffee flavored i think the magnet is also from fishy choco rolls i want to eat that now also oh everything i want to eat okay and no, this is not a snack, but this is from 75 million dollar mistake. I really like this mole butt. So pretty. I will try using that once. Yeah, I'll try using that once this is over and since I bought a sketchbook recently perfect opportunity perfect place to write it and this these are actually potato chips actually took me a second to realize and this is slightly salted maybe it's shrimp and cons consomme flavor I'm not sure what consomme soup is though, but yes, consomme flavored. And then Balexi, Pocky, and Pretz. I love these. I grew up with these. The only one I can find for sure at the Asian shops here are the chocolate flavored. That one's really easy to find. And I think I saw strawberry before. Don't remember seeing green tea, but obviously Balik tea here is overpriced. Like everything else here when it comes to, when it's related to Asian snack goods, it's overpriced. So here we have salad, yeah, green tea, chocolate, and Hokkaido milk candy. The soft chili Hokkaido milk candy with an actual cow on it and everything. Or milk candy. There we go. And then we have raw candy. I can't actually read these, but from the pictures, I'm gonna guess it's orange, apple, cherry, grape, and peach. And then there's gummies. Gummies, gummies, gummies. I love gummies. I think gummies are very popular here. Cause I always see gummy candies. Ah, uh, great. Which one? Nice apples. Yay. Hi Chu. Hi Chu candy. I mean, Hi Chu candy, and I don't know. Actually, maybe it hasn't been that long. 
I'm sure I had it like before I left, maybe. I haven't really been buying candy. I'm trying to refrain before. And then I come here and then I'm like, I miss all these flavors that I actually haven't had in a lot while. Besides like Asian chocolates. Love buying those. And then there's these. <laughs> Funny thing, before I before I came here, I didn't actually like eat things with maple in them that often. Like I've always liked the taste of maple syrup, but I didn't have it regularly. But seeing this got me very excited. And then this one will zoom out. Yeah, we'll zoom out. So those were from my friends in Toronto. So thank you to Fishy, Porco B, and 75 million. Now on to this one, this one, thank you, Auntie. I miss hot chocolate too. I haven't had well, actually, yeah, I've had cho hot chocolate, but it's not really that good. But what the hot chocolate that I've had at Costa, I didn't really like it. And the hot chocolate I had at McDonald's was also, eh. But I am excited to try this. Even though the weather is warming, it is never too hot or too cold for hot chocolate. And chocolates. I always love chocolates, so thank you to Auntie for those. And then now onto these gummies. Oh, I missed this one. This one is also sent for my awesome Toronto friends. These are also juicy, juicy gummies. And I think that green one is a frog or a crab. Either one. It looks so cute. And happy until it gets eaten by me. <laughs> okay, so this quite favorite gummy. These or actually no, lemon flavored muscato grape green grapes. Also awesome. And these ones, these ones that I will put in the fridge. Once I'm done this video. And then now on to the one of the cutest letter sets I've ever seen that I got from Not Chest Hair. Look at these, look at these cute hedgehogs. They're adorable. It's like it says Harry Collection. I think it went. This is probably a super puff Starbucks. Look how cute that is. I've seen them all. Oh, so cute. That one is enjoying bubble tea. So cute. Bubble tea pancake. I suddenly want hotcakes. And look, ding ding tet. So cute. And I have seen lampposts like that here. But, but those, they're not common, common, but they're pretty common. Lampposts around the world. These are like classic looking lampposts. Then there's this one. Look how cute that is. Hedgehog butt. Musical hedgehog. Then there's. Alright. The bicycle riding one. So cute. These are letter papers that go with it. Even wish that hedgehog rides the bike. The backpack. Ding ding tail again. Then there's. Oh, 
Rocky Hedgehog in this one. Oh, there they are. Ah, so cute. I also suddenly want a hamburger. Yes, I am very, very easily affected by advertisements. So the fact that I am not completely broke here, that is a miracle. And that is it. That is everything. And this will last me for a very long time. Hopefully. Because I do not want to eat all this in one go. I know I am perfectly capable, but that is not healthy. Okay, maybe not one go. Like, I'll probably do it in a week if I was crazy. But I will eat this slowly. I will savor everything because I am very grateful. Last look. Okay. Hello once again. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Fishy. Thank you, 75 million. Thank you, Porky. And thank you, Bluebeard slash O Time Flies. For everything. I'm very grateful. <laughs>